Warning. Artificial Creeps presents weird, strange, and spooky tales and visuals generated entirely by artificial intelligence. It might contain frightening or disturbing content, and all artificial intelligence models may contain hidden biases learned from their training. Viewer discretion is advised. It was a cold and windy night in the small town of Cumberland, nestled deep in the heart of the Appalachian Mountains. The dark clouds had hung low for days, and it felt to the citizens as if something sinister was about to unfold. I was the local pastor of the town, and it was my duty to counsel those in need and offer words of faith in times of hardship but I soon found myself in the middle of something far greater than I had ever imagined. It all began one night when I heard strange howling coming from the woods beyond my church. As I ventured out with my flashlight, I was immediately startled by what I saw. A horde of vampires, their eyes glistening like stars in the dark night sky. The fear that overcame me was overpowering. But I remembered the stories my grandmother told me about vampires, and knew that the only way to protect those I loved was to give them what they sought. Blood. Knowing that no one else would be brave enough, I offered myself up as a sacrifice. I presented my arm to the vampires, and they let out a blood-curdling scream as they dined upon it, filling themselves with its sustenance. As they left, their howls fading into the darkness, I felt something deep inside me shift and change. Terror gripped me again as I realized that by offering myself up, I had become one of them, a vampire. I returned home to my stunned family pale and drained of life. And when morning broke the following day, it became clear that something had changed. A thick fog had descended over Cumberland, engulfing it completely in darkness and despair. The citizens of Cumberland were now trapped by this oppressive blanket that even sunlight could not penetrate. Many began to believe that this was some sort of punishment from God for allowing vampires into our midst, for giving into their demands for blood. Desperate for a solution, I sought assistance from any who would help us free ourselves from this bleak faith. Eventually, through much research and trial and error, we discovered an ancient incantation that could reverse the curse of darkness upon our land but at a tragic cost. Sacrificing one's life and becoming a vampire forever. My own family begged and pleaded with me not to do it, but knowing that this was the only chance at restoring life to our land, I bid them farewell and walked alone and willingly towards my doom, trading my mortality in exchange for freedom from the darkness. <laughs> 